So we live, we live, we live. The date is Tuesday, January 25th. You see I'm back at the office, back at the office. I just got done meeting with Olivia, who is the startup manager at WeWork. And actually the lady who I reached out to in 2019 about moving to Paris and she didn't reply. <laughs> but I messaged her again in 2021 and she replied and we went back and forth for months and she helped me get here to Paris. And so this is our first time meeting in person, which was so dope. And we just had an amazing conversation. I'll put the picture up here. And it was just a great time. We got to talk for like an hour. We got to talk for like an hour and really just, um, really just connect, really just connect and network. And it was just so beautiful. Um, and yeah, it's early. So that, that's how I started my morning. Um, and of course today is, is Laura's birthday, so I got to make her breakfast and, you know, walk, uh, walk, take the train together. Um, so that was amazing. You know, that was amazing. And now I'm about to put in a few hours of real focused work. And then I'm having a, a uh, meeting, yeah, uh, a strategy meeting, if you will, um, in a couple of hours. And so I'm trying, I'm going to get that all on camera, get that footage. But basically, I'll be meeting with my program manager and then two other entrepreneurs. And we'll just be chopping it up, talking about our problems and our struggles and really just helping each other build and helping each other grow. And that'll be cool. It's my first time doing that. So I'm excited to really just get some feedback from other people. And yeah, that's it. So just wanted to pop in and, and share that, kind of share that progress and show y'all the, the lady, one of my destiny helpers. One of my friends called it a destiny helper. And, and that's cool. And it's funny, I just talked about it yesterday about the importance of people and building friendships and relationships. And you never know who could be your destiny helper. <laughs> your destiny helper, someone who helps you get closer to your destiny. So be on the lookout for that and just, you know, continue to to do what you do and, and know that you're always one connection away. So that's it. Just wanted to pop in and, and share that update. See y'all in a little bit. So we live. We live walking to WeWork right now. I'm not the WeWork, the Station F to go and do this meeting. It's called a creativity meeting, which is fire. Let me show y'all the vibes. Mm, this is the sidewalk. Actually, really nice. So this this is called the the thirteenth Aaron D's Mall. Basically, it's a lot of like businesses and stuff, like big buildings. You know what I'm saying, can't really see. Can't really see, but we here. Just walking, you know. Of course, when people see somebody like recording content. They're gonna look crazy. <laughs> They're gonna look crazy because it's something that not a lot of people do. And I was just having a conversation earlier, like, like, yo, in America, everybody records content, everybody's on social media, and it's such a normal thing. But in Europe, nobody does it. Everybody's so shy and secretive. But it's one of the advantages, right? Because if you're in a place where nobody is recording content, like that makes you stand out, which is always a good thing. So, yeah. So let me just, I'm almost here now, it's just crazy. It was like a five minute walk to Station F. But this is it right here. Station F is the largest community in Paris for entrepreneurs it was created by a french billionaire xavier neil who i'm gonna connect with eventually i don't know when but this i'm connect with bro but he's a french billionaire he created this amazing building amazing program for french and international entrepreneurs so i'm walking up on it now Station F. 
And so I'm gonna cut the camera while I go in. Cause they're gonna be pressing me, asking me for stuff. But vibes. So we here, this is the this is the 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 vibes. The environment of station F. So I don't know what this thing is, but it looks cool. And so this is this is it. So you can see this is different like hub thingies. And so let's go. So yeah, this is called the Creative Dungeon. So this is where the Station of Start Founders thing is. So you can see Station of Founders program. like that magic but you can see got LVMH okay Microsoft up there okay and so he's got different different companies Yes, I was thought I was lost. Um, you upstairs? Yeah. This oh wow. The big sticker there, the, the clue that we are here. ADN. The name of, um, the there. Okay. Nice. I'm filming. Do you want to say hi? <laughs> so this session is actually to, uh, yeah, take a step back on your project and have another person point of view on your problematic and help you like go on with your projects and uh, have some new and fresh ideas so uh, it's basically 30 minutes 40 minutes by per person and during this time there are several steps uh, and we are going to work on the problematic that you have and try to uh, help as much as we can so basically my project is a um well i'll say this first so the project that i originally came with to station f is not what i'm going to be doing moving forward okay. so i'm kind of switching it up a little bit but the the mission is to help people with their mental health oh okay right so it's it's, it's that simple help people with their mental health um and so right now i have a a newsletter with about 2600 subscribers okay. and we send a newsletter every um, email every week with a, a some type of tip or motivation or inspiration about mental health okay. and so the idea is, is to continue to build up that list so that when we release our product we already mm -hmm. have users okay. and so I'm, I'm, the, the idea is like to create some type of application like a mobile app mm -hmm. but I don't exactly know what I want the app to do yeah, but I know that I want to solve the, or help the problem of mental health. Okay. And so right now I have a I have a small team, so I have a CTO, who is a international national speaker on um, on Web three, so like metaverse, mm -hmm. um, AR VR, blockchain, yeah. okay, that type of thing. Um, and then I have a co-founder who is. An influencer and he talks about um, like personal development relationship building that type of thing and then I have a UX person okay um, and so I want to find a come up with an idea where I can leverage my team's expertise mm -hmm. but also my own and build a product that can help with the problem that I want to yeah. solve one angle is that uh, therapy is still very much of a taboo for a lot of people. Mm. Yeah. Because uh, for them, it means that you need help. Yeah. And uh, especially in France. In the US, it's mm. not really the same. But yeah. really in France, yeah. you have the idea that uh, you show weakness when you go to therapy, but because it means that you are basically yeah. crazy or that you yeah, are, sure. or, or that you are depressive, which is not 
at all the case. Yeah. And even if you are, it's not something bad. Yeah. So um, I think that you have an angle to be a safe place for people without having the therapy uh, label on you. Mm. You mean you know that mental health is uh, really important. Uh, yeah. For people who work, but also on your yeah. personal, uh, as on personal aspects. Interesting. So one thing I have right now is a podcast. So I have a good community of listeners on the podcast, and I'm getting ready to release episodes where I'm interviewing psychologists. Yeah. So what is a good? What should be my goal with? Is that what you just said? Also, no. Something. Oh, okay. that, uh, you have a lot of help in France for young and less young people who want to launch podcasts you should uh, look into it because i know one of my friends uh, she's applied like for a, a grant or something mm. to launch her, pod, uh, her podcasts and then you can sell these podcasts mm. to media company to you can see to send it to a lot of people actually uh, for example uh, you have we have a, a media in france called uh, psychology magazine yeah, Psychology yeah. Magazine. I follow them. You could like <laughs> sell a podcast to them. <laughs> this okay. could, this could be the B2B approach also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And no, create two. content and sell it. Uh, there is a lot of thing to do, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, I think first step is definitely just clarifying and kind of trimming, like uh, simplifying the idea. Yeah, right? and I think yeah. that, yeah, yeah. First of all, for every business starts with the idea the, 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 the simpler possible feature that you have mm. but I think that before you have to <laughs> actually talk to people who can yeah. experience that kind of struggle you know yeah we live live checking in about to walk into the apartment right now but I just wanted to make this quick video and really debrief um, what just happened <laughs> I don't know how much of the of the the medium I'm going to put in this video but I want to talk about it, right? Because we unpacked a lot of stuff, a lot of the idea, a lot of the strategies, a lot of the possibilities for growth, you know, um, different ways to leverage, like just what is going on in France and also just the mindset of French people. But I was reminded of like the, the value of this product and the value of the mission of Blemish, the project. And so I'm really excited to just continue to grow and continue to build upon it especially with the ideas that were discussed today. And I'm super excited, super excited. And you know, I'm more, even more excited now to end the day early and just go spend time with Laurel and really just celebrate her, celebrate her day, celebrate her life, her existence, and then, you know, finish the night celebrating some more. And so uh, it's exciting stuff. Um, and yeah, if you have any questions about Blemish or about what we talked about, comment and let me know. And let's have some conversations in the, in the comments just about business, about you know idea creation and startup life whatever but just wanted to provide that debrief feeling really good and excited to celebrate my lover and my best friend peace are we live walking to laurel's birthday dinner right now um cross right here i'm gonna say it's a birthday dinner i said we eating dinner for my Birthday dinner. <laughs> We're on a birthday dinner in a nice area. We're in the sixth. So let me show y'all the vibes. Look across here, baby. It's on this street. Okay, I like this. I like this little alleyway action. Very nice.
see the sin on. Sorry, let me get this for you, baby. So, hello, I'm Hi, Kristen. I'm Katie. Uh, Katie. Laura. How's Laura, it going? Nice to meet you. Naya. Naya, nice to meet you, Naya. <laughs> and we live just just finished the, the dinner. Oh my God. So now we, we're heading to a karaoke bar. This is my guy. This is my guy Bukar. So I'm the guy Bukar. <laughs> so I talked about how I got invited to a party, like the first week, and this is the guy. That was me. <laughs> <laughs> this was the guy. So, so he's my left French. Yeah. Do I laugh like a French person when I say ha ha ha? Yes. <laughs> say, so, say something in French. Say, uh, um, say I, had a, had a, I had a great time tonight. J'ai passé une super soirée. Say, uh, I don't know. So, no, this is my. C'était le feu. C'était un truc de ouf. Yes, sir. <laughs> that way. So, yeah, we're about to go to the karaoke bar. About to have a lot of fun. Look at the actual walk walk there. Okay. So. Vibes. Let's go out the metro. So this is like part two, part three. After dinner, we went to the karaoke bar and now we're going to a different bar now. So let's see. But yeah, it's like, it's not really only midnight, but it feels super late. But we back outside, it's like 10 of us. So we just out, man, celebrating a birthday girl, having a good time. And I'm just holding down with the camera. Sound. I'll show y'all the vibes. Can I say hi to your subscriber? Yeah, talk to him. Hi, subscriber. What's your name? Where are you My from? My name's Scotty. I'm from North Carolina. Okay, why are you in Paris? What are um, you doing in Paris? I'm here for school. Oh, wow. Amazing. Yeah, nothing that interesting, but here it's we are. Very interesting. No, How are you? Are you having a good time tonight? I am having a good time. Yeah? Despite the fact that I very much want to be in bed. <laughs> Nice. Are you having a good time? Birthday crow? Yes. I feel like you're dropping my <laughs> baby. <laughs> this is our little group. Wait, really? Oh, hey, get up with the group, baby. <laughs> Hello. Talk to him. What's your name? My Instagram is Naya Nicole 2. N A Y A N I C O L E 2. Gang, what's your name? Where you from? Naya from Austin, Texas. Okay, what you doing in Paris? Texas. Get my master's degree, baby. I'm educated. And you speak French. Talk some French to me. We. Je m'appelle Naya. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your mask. Um, it's on my face. You lost yours. I think you have a scarf. That's, that's kind of that could be a mask. Mm -hmm. So they never stop riding bikes. No matter what time I'm out on the street, it's always people riding bikes. And I definitely <laughs> underestimated the cold. <laughs> I, tried to, I tried to be. I tried to be fly with the with the vert and now I'm cold. <laughs> and now I'm cold and fly. Fly and cold. I take it. 
Leave me.